Yo, what's going on people? Check it out. I'm Derek Bennett from Base Nation Academy and let's try to figure out the changes from them changes by Thundercat, the tongue twister. So I'm going to run through this fairly quick. If you don't know your chords, I suggest you watch this video up here. That'll teach you more about chords and how they're formed. But I'm playing a five string today. Also, if you don't know Thundercat, please go check him out. Awesome, amazing, craziest bass player ever. Six string, John Patitucci bass. Anyway, go check him out. Uh, we're going to figure out these changes. First chord, we got a B major. He's actually using some crazy type of filter. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but in this video, I'm using an MXR envelope filter. I'll put the link to it in the description if you guys are interested. I try to mimic exactly how he sounded, but I'm not sure if I got close enough. Anyway, first chord, B major seven. So on a five string, I'm playing this because he's playing the bass note and the chords on the top, but with a six string, he's doing it in this register of the bass. With a five string, I don't have a six string on hand. So on a five string, I try to tackle the same thing. So simply put the bass, we have B and then a major seven on top. I'm gonna to go through this pretty quick, all right? So B major seven using the B on the fifth string. Next chord, we have G minor seven. All right, so just using that G on the fifth string, then playing the third and the seventh on the D and the G string. All right, now A flat, move a half step up, same exact chord. We have A flat on the bass, the third and the seventh of A flat, uh, and the minor seven, excuse me, for the last one is minor seven as well, and minor seven, so the minor third and the minor seventh. All right, so for the next one, we have an F minor 11. Uh, you can voice this two different ways. You can add the fifth if you want to. So you have one, five, flat seven, 11. And then you're gonna play that same exact chord on the E flat. So all together. On that last two, or the last two chords I'm playing the fifth, I'm actually including the fifth on those last two chords. Uh, sometimes you can actually make the chord a little bit fuller if you play the fifth as well. I believe he's playing the fifth, so if you wanna do that, you can play the B here, and then the five from there. So we got B and F sharp or G flat. So we have B, fifth from there. Make it a little bit more fuller, right? And I know what you're thinking, don't worry, for my four string guys, I got you. Okay, told you, I got you. So B major seven, we have a B major seven here on the 14th fret. So B, one, three, seven, All right? So same chords as before, but we're just eliminating the fifth string and playing it on the A string. All right, G minor seven, A flat minor seven. Uh, and then we want to play the same chords. We can play in the same way, actually. The 11 chord, so we have an F minor 11, E flat minor 11. So I'm playing one, five, flat seven, four, or 11, <laughs> and then the same thing, a whole step down. Okay, so the other part of the style is playing that syncopated rhythm. Do, do, da, do, do, da, do, do, da, right? So you can play that same exact style using the one, five, and then the two upper extensions of the chord on the five string. So the bass, fifth note, same thing. Or you can play the same thing on a four. You kind of slide up to that F minor 11. Let me make it a little bit more official. So it's a little bit more intricate when you play those chords with the fifths in them because you have to utilize more fingers. I believe he's playing it uh, with bar chords when he's playing the five string, which is crazy within itself to be able to play those minor sevens on the G and the A flat, which is crazy. I think, I'll, yeah, I'll show you on the five string. So I believe he plays it this way on the five string. And barring those minor seven chords, so you can actually play the, the minor third along with it. So you can use the same exact finger to play that note and playing the one five 
the minor three and the minor seven here, same thing here. And playing those two notes, to, two chords together, not two chords, but two notes together at the same time. And then, uh, you can play those chords the same way actually. Okay, so try to get the hang of it. Uh, those are pretty big chords, start slow. Um, it's pretty tough to do those big, especially when you're playing those big chords on a five string or even a six string. I don't even know how he did that, which is absolutely nuts. 